Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 766. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 761 to 770, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have some times, and we want to count how many are before noon and after noon. We also will see how to do it with the time besides noon. That's an actual, you know, dividing the day into two. We'll see how to do it with before 11 a.m. and after 11 a.m. Well, we can just start off by using the count if function. The count if can count given a criteria. Now, these are times. Those are serial numbers underneath. But I'm going to lock this, OK? Those are times, comma. What we see is the formatting. Underneath is the serial number, which is a, a number between 0 and 1, which represents a proportion of one 24-hour day. But for criteria, watch this. We can actually just use a regular uh, time format. Our criteria is going to be in double quotes. I'm going to say for before noon less than. And then I'm just going to type my time, 12 colon 00, zero space PM and double quote. Now that's kind of weird, you know. You got an actual time. Usually that's the format that sits on top of the cells, but yeah, for criteria you can type it right in like that. And this will count all the times less than. For noon we're not going to count um, for below before noon, we're not going to count the actual noon hour. We'll count that over here. All right, so that's 5. When I drag this over, I can simply change the comparative operator to greater than or equal to will include noon in this. So we can see there's 5 and 3. Now another way to do this is <laughs> if we have AM and PM in the cell, we can use the text function to convert these serial numbers into either to just PM or AM and then compare it to the cell content. Now the text function usually expects a single value, a number, and then you tell it how to format it. I'm going to highlight this whole column. Once you do that, that makes this as an array formula, comma, and then format ta text has to be a custom number format in double quotes. And usually we do time, like we saw 12 colon 00, zero space PM, but all I'm going to put is AM slash PM. That's the custom number format for show the AM or PM. All right, and so this takes this whole column and converts it from serial numbers formatted to actual text strings that show up as PM, AM, Control Z. Now, we need to say how many of those are equal to that cell. So I'm going to go like this, equals that. That will give us a true and false, F9. Control Z, and we've got to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros, and put it inside the sum product. The sum product can handle an array. The fact that we put more than one value into the text argument means it's an array. Sum product can handle that. And we're going to convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros with double negative, and make sure and force that equal sign comparative operator to calculate before the unitary operator uh, minus sign. So we put the uh, close parenthesis and then close parenthesis on some product and enter. Drag it over. Oops, did I lock? I didn't lock these. F4, F4. Uh, it's probably the best way to do this. These are kind of uh, silly. Sometimes that's useful if you don't have cells with criteria or you're just in a hurry. But a lot of times, just put your number here. Now, this is control one, got time some custom time format, but I could just have a regular time, right? And whatever the built-in format. But if I wipe away all of the formatting, applying general, which by the way the keyboard shortcut is Control Shift Tilde or Grave Accent, you can see that's a decimal under there, Control Z Z. But what's nice about this is you can just type it in and then build your count if equals count if this whole range over here. F4, comma, the criteria. And now we're going to have to put our comparative operator in double quotes and use the ampersand join symbol to join it to that number. And then Control Enter. And then I'm going to drag it over and cheat. I'm going to change this to greater than or equal to. All right, so for 11 AM, there are an equal split. All right, counting times before, number of times before and after a given time. See you next video.